Hello everyone, welcome to the Arsenal Way and yes, we have a special show for you guys today, a different show. No, it's not transfers and no, it's not team selections or team predictors. Actually, what we are predicting is the breakout stars for next season. Now, of course, the Howling Academy has been a big, big part of Arteta's rebuild since coming into the club in 2019 and we could see the same again next season. I'm joined by Alfie Lambert. Alfie, your second show of the Arsenal Way. How are you feeling, mate? How are you today? I'm very good, thank you, Bailey. Ready to to get into it. Looking forward to you know discussing what future stars we could see next season. How are you? Absolutely, I'm good, mate. Thanks for asking. I'm great. Um, just on the Howling Academy, just how important have they been in recent seasons? Because I think we had the period where not a lot of players were breaking through, but suddenly there's been a surge of players recently, haven't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, I mean this season, um, Smith Rowe and Saka have just been the. I mean, Saka the last couple of seasons, especially. Back to back player seasons. I mean, without him, I'd hate to think where we'd be. Smith Rowe, I, I think Arteta said, didn't he, at the start of the season? I want him to start picking up the goals. You know, he hits double figures. And even towards the end of the season, when we need him the goals, Eddie and Ketia comes out of nowhere and just starts scoring. So, I, I mean, we, we know how important they've been, especially this season. Absolutely. And uh, last season, or this season, we'd like to call it, they had a big part. But let's see what. The new crop of players could, who could potentially break through next season. We're going to start off with the defence, and that is Brooke Norton Coffey. Now, of course, he was on loan at, at Lincoln City last season, but he did get a lot of raves and reviews for his impressive performances. And with Cedric Suarez coming in as a backup for Tommy Yasuo, a lot of fans have been calling for this youngster to potentially break through next season. Alfie, is this a player you would like to see in the Arsenal ranks? And could he, could he break through, do you think? Yeah, 100%. I think you look at this season, especially... We've got the Europa League and, and you look at what that did for the likes of Saka uh, and Smith Rowe and even Balogun last season, um, or sorry, the season before, sorry, um, and, and and watching him at Lincoln. I watched him a couple of times. I think one that stood out, uh, they beat Sheffield Wednesday 3-1, who, who were you know up there promotion chasing. He scored in that game. Uh, he looked just as good defensively as he looked going forward. And every time he went forward, he was causing Sheffield Wednesday a problem. So... I think with the amount of games we're going to be playing next season and, and looking at some of the fullback options we've got, I think he's, he's definitely going to be getting a part at some point next season. Yeah, I agree with you. Do you think he is ready to, to take the step up? Where would you rank him? Would you rank him above Cedric or would you think he'd be, if he would come in and stay, he would be behind Cedric in that pecking order so he would be the third choice right back? Because personally, I think he would take over Cedric. Arsenal way, no. The fans of Arsenal way, no. I am not the biggest fan of Cedric Sorez. But what do you think, Alfie? Do you think he'll come in and be an understudy straight away or do you think he'll take a little bit of time for him to, to reach that level? For me, personally, I think it's going to take a, a couple of months. Give him a, a couple of cup games and, and the Europa League group stage games. I think that's going to be perfect for his development. You know, he's been playing League One football. It's a big jump from that to Premier League, even though he's, he's been putting in impressive performances. Like yourself, I'm not the biggest fan of Cedric. But at times, he, he did show that experience for us. And I, and I think that when we're going to be looking for, I mean, the main aim next season is going to be Champions League football. I think that experience is really going to help and, and really help with, with you know, Brooks, uh, Brooks' development next season. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you. I think Arsenal need to strengthen in the fullback department. But I think a reason why maybe we're not being linked to too many right backs is because of the development of Brook Norton Coffee and the potential he does have. So maybe there is a little little sign there that he will come back to Arsenal next season and he could break into the first team. But if I had to choose out of all the breakout stars from the Howland Academy, Brook Norton Coffee would start, certainly be amongst the top of that list. But let's move on to the let's move on to the next thing. And here we have Amari Hutchinson, now, of course, Amari Hutchinson. Broke onto the scene very early due to his early YouTube episodes with the F2, F2 freestylers when Amari Hutchinson was showing, of course, showing his excellent skills. But he's been able to do that in a competitive, competitive scene where he has been playing for Arsenal youth team. And he has made the he has made the Arsenal bench a couple of times, yet to make an appearance, but he could possibly be a breakout star next season, couldn't he, Alfie? Yeah, for, for definitely. It feels like even despite his age, he's been around for years. Like you say, all them younger videos of him when he was doing all those skills for the F2 and, and what have you. It just feels like he, he's been around for ages. Um, I've caught glimpses of him for the under-23s this season. I think one of the games, I'm pretty sure it was against Chelsea. Um, you know, he, he's a skillful dribbler. He's got an eye for goal. And, and uh, you know, I, I think I mentioned it before, you know, the Europa League group stage games, they're the sort of games where these sort of players are going to get the minutes and the experience. and for me, he's up there as one of the best 
uh, that are currently playing in our under-23s. And, and, and to me, he's, he's going to be one of the ones that will get a chance next season. Definitely. And for me this season, I believe Arsenal have lacked a, a Erdegaard alternative. Now, Murray Hutchinson is a player who has that low centre of gravity. He can play on the wing, can play as a as, as an attacking midfielder. Do you think that is a position for Murray to possibly attack and possibly break through in that, in that role rather than a, a wing role? Yeah, like you say, I don't think we've really got another option other than Odegaard in, in sort of that number 10 role when he, when he does play there. And, and you know, we've got a couple of options there, like, say, Amari Hutchinson, I mean, a couple of options from, from the academy, sorry, and, and, and Hutchinson, he, he must be looking at that and thinking, this is my opportunity this season to, to push through it and, and take that role, you know, in, in sort of the cup games where we, where we can have the opportunity to rest our first, first team players. So, I, for me, yeah, he's got to be looking at that and thinking that I can take that role. Yeah, absolutely. The European League is a blessing in disguise, low-key, because I know people are angry about the Champions League and not qualifying for it. But the European League does create opportunities for young players such as Amari Hutchinson and possibly Brook Noy and Coffey to, to break through into the first team and they get the opportunity in the European League. But let's move on to the next possible breakout star now. This is Charlie Patino. Technically, he did already break out after his marvellous goal in the, in the Carabao Cup. Fans were anticipating his debut and when he did come on, what impact he made. Of course, he started for Arsenal against Nottingham Forest in the third round of the FA Cup. That was his last, last serious appearance. But he didn't... He looked young. He looked inexperienced. I think that was unfair to throw him in alongside Samuel Okonga. But still, he has amazing potential, doesn't he, Alfie? And do you think this is one of the players that could break through next season? Yeah, I mean, looking at him, he reminds me of sort of the likes of Fabregas and Wilshire, who have obviously come through the academy in recent years. And like you say, that game against Forest, I think it was just... We had that many injuries in central midfield. He had to come and play it. And I was there and I felt for him because, like you say, he just looked out of place as such. You can tell from watching him that he's such a talented player and he's got a big future at the club. I mean, just sort of his eye for a pass, you know, the weight of pass just when he drives through the midfield. He's just a solid number eight. And again, I think he's going to have the opportunity, hopefully, not in a game where he has to be thrown in the deep end like that. Um, but but we've seen against Sunderland, that was the perfect game for him. And, and he, he he grabbed it with two hands and what an opportunity for him in, in next season. Yeah, absolutely. I think, well, again, the European League will create an op- excellent opportunity for Charlie Patino to really stick his claim in the Arsenal squad. But Alfie, do you believe with the presence of Sambi Lokonga, of course, oh, then he signed a new contract, Tielemans tipped, tipped to come into a new club, or if it's not Tielemans, then it's another another midfielder. Do you think that could stunt his development a little bit or do you think it's just the usual process? Yeah, I, I think if he's got that many ahead of him, it, it, it does cause those, those issues, maybe stunts, you know, his progression into the first team slightly. Um, but, you, you know, I think I think you look at Lukonga, I, th- I think he, he's definitely got the potential, but I think at times he needed a bit of a, a, a kick to to get going because I think he started off really well, and then I looked at some of the games and and, and sometimes I felt like he was too complacent. Maybe with someone behind behind him like Charlie Patino, who's obviously showing all this potential uh, for for our youth sides, it might not only help him, but it it might help sort of like the Conga to push on as well. Absolutely, yeah, I'd like to see. Charlie Patino and Lukonga potentially get more minutes in Europa League because they are our two young midfielders. They are the two midfielders tipped to potentially be Arsenal starters one day. And I think Charlie Patino is one of the best players to come out of the Howling Academy, maybe potentially since Jack Wilshere. I know Jack Wilshere almost became his mentor a little bit when he did come back to Arsenal to be a, be a coach. And hopefully Charlie Patino can follow, follow in the same footsteps, not with the injury issues, but with the quality he possesses and, and, and the impact he can have on the team. But let's move on to the, to the next possible breakup star, and that is Marcelo Flores. Now, in Mexico, Marcelo Flores has already broke up because he's a, he's a first-team international player for the Mexico national team. Now, of course, this year, actually, he dropped out of the most recent international break to, to focus on a pre-season with Arsenal, potentially showing that Arteta has, has the confidence in him and Marcelo Flores also has the confidence in himself to, to become a, a breakout star next year. And Alfie, do you believe Marcelo Flores is a player who could potentially play for the first team? Yeah, it seems like he, he's, he's come on leaps and bounds this season. I think he started off in the under-18s and sort of moved and, and worked his way into the under-23s. Um, like you say, getting in at 18 to the, the national team, Mexico, I mean, that is just fantastic. It, it just shows you what he's all about. Um, and, and, and sort of uh, another player like Amari Hutchinson, he can play out wide, he, he can play, you know, in that attacking midfield role and he's got an eye for goal. Um, and again, like we were mentioning with, with Odegaard, we've not got too many of those players. It might be that the likes of Hutchinson and Flores can sort of 
push on this season and and, and look to when Odegaard we, we we can you know afford to rest him, then these sort of players can come in and and, and you know get that much needed first team experience. Yeah, absolutely. And with Arsenal at the moment, I know reports have come out today actually as of Friday as a Friday afternoon that Arsenal are chasing players such as Rafinha from Leeds. The wing position is also up for grabs. You think if Nicola Pepe does get sold, for example, it creates a, a great opportunity for Marcelo Flores to, to break into the team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we look this season, um, Saka has worked his way into the ground, really. And I think at times we've had to rely on him, but mm -hmm. we could have done with someone to fill him in that position. And when, you know, your record signing can't come and fill in for that position because, I mean, personally, for me, Pepe is just not good enough to, yeah. to be an Arsenal player. I know some people think that he is and not been given a chance. Uh, whatever you think of him, there's a reason that Saka's played that many games. So it'd be nice to give those sort of players a rest. And, and again, Saka's been in those those shoes before, you know. I, I remember Eintracht Frankfurt, the goal um, mm -hmm. against them. Hopefully, you know, the likes of Flores, they can have their Frankfurt moment this season. Uh, and like you say, that's just the blessing of the Europa League, really. It, it would have been good to get Champions League football. But, uh, you know, on, on the other hand, you've got to take a positive spin and think it, it's brilliant for the development of our youngsters. Absolutely, you do indeed. And that is a great opportunity for the youngsters. As you said, Bakari Saka really did make a name for himself in the Arsenal shirt in the game against Frankfurt and he was able to kickstart his career there. So let's hope one of these youngsters can also do that next season. But let's move on to the next name on the possible breakout stars now. I think Arsenal fan, every Arsenal fan is familiar with this player here, Falarin Balogun, of course. He started the first game of the Premier League last season, but then he couldn't make another start under Arteta. I don't think Arteta had the trust in him that he was ready to lead the line just yet. So he went on loan to Middlesbrough for six months. And do you think that loan out he has potentially gave him the, the kickstart to come into the Arsenal team next season? Or will he require another loan away from the club? I watched a lot of him at Middlesbrough last season. Um, mm -hmm. And... For me, he wasn't in the squad, in sort of the team enough to, you know, really make a mark. He did score three goals, and it was the three in four games off the top of my head: Sheffield United, Peterborough, um, and Birmingham. You know, and and he looked like he was really making a mark on the squad. He'd already started impressing Chris Wilder, and and you know, and then after scoring those, going on that goal scoring spree, he just seemed to to not get an opportunity for Middlesbrough. Um, but for me, whenever he played. He, he did make a difference and he and he showed why he's too good for, for the under-23s. I mean, I think he scored 13 and 11 for them this season. So, I think it's another one where I'd like to see him play for Arsenal, but come January, if he's not been getting too many opportunities, I'd like to see him go to either a Premier League or, or, or again, a championship club that are hopefully chasing promotion because I think he, he does need that first team experience now. There's no good playing him in the under 23s anymore. Yeah, no, I agree with you. For me, I look at Balogun as following the the Tammy Abraham uh, template. A template, of course, he went to Bristol City on loan, came back, then went to Swansea. It didn't really work out for him, but the Aston Villa loan really to shape him and help him in his career when he went back to Chelsea and, of course, eventually to Roma. Maybe Arsenal can can follow in that same route, but I also do believe with Enketo's new contract about to be signed, it does. Worry me for Balogun's Arsenal career. Maybe he's being used as an asset for Arsenal rather than an actual player in the squad. But we shall see what happens in the future. But Alfie, if you had to choose out one of those players who was to have the biggest breakthrough at Arsenal and be a success next season, which player would you choose? For me, I think Brook Norton Puffy, just because the opportunity is there for him. Like we say, a lot of Arsenal fans haven't got the most faith in, in Cedric. And with the injury records we've had at fullback, I believe he can play either left or right, predominantly right back. And I, I think the opportunity is there for him. Um, and, and, you know, if he does impress and, and knocks on, hopefully it, it can be the next Saka or the next Smith Rowe for us. Yeah, let's hope. I agree with you. I'd also go with Brook Norton Coffee for my for my selection. You've said it perfectly there. We, we can't really trust Cedric. I don't know what's going to happen there. And Tommy Yasu's injury issues could carry into next season. So it creates a perfect chance for Brook Norton Coffee to possibly break into the first team but we shall see we are going to end the show there guys so Alfie thank you very much for jumping on mate uh, thank you for having me on it's been a pleasure it has been a pleasure indeed guys make sure to leave in the comment section below who you believe would break out into the Arsenal team next season is it a player we didn't mention in this list will, will Mika Birif possibly have get a chance will he break into the first team will it be another lonely he will come back to Arsenal and potentially make their name in the squad let us know in the comment section below but make sure to also leave a like and subscribe and most importantly make sure you keep following us down the Arsenal way <laughs>